a Meccano 3 speed automatic gearbox. Well, let's switch it on. At the moment the motor's turning slowly and the gearbox is in first gear. That's first gear there. Put a bit more speed on. And you can see that's disengaging and it's actually now moving into second gear. Faster still. And it goes into top gear. If I put load on the output shaft, then it starts to change back down. You see there. And if I remove the load, it goes back up into top gear. So how does all that work? Well, this uh, governor here uh, moves the shaft to the left when the, the, this is spinning faster and faster because it's weighted it tries to um, go outward with centrifugal force um, when you put load on this shaft this differential here tries to, put, um, tries to turn and it's linked up to this linkage here which pulls the shaft back to the right back down into a lower gear uh, the rubber band here means that when the uh, motor's turning slowly, the rubber band pulls this shaft back, back into lower gear, into a lower gear. Um, you might ask what all these arrangements are. Well, these are sort of like um, ratchet mechanisms, and the reason why you need them is when you put load on this shaft, um, it's going to try and change down, but if you didn't have these ratchet mechanisms, there'd be a short neutral section between the uh, disengagement of one gear and the engagement of the next. But at that neutral section, uh, all the load on this shaft would be removed and the differential here would flip back and it would go back into the higher gear. So these provide a constant mesh mechanism. Um, and it's an extremely clever model, um, originally made by a, a chap called uh, Robin Schooler. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly and it's absolutely superb.